welcome to my youtube channel this is uh, sichamba jacob i guess you are doing fine wherever you're watching this video from so how do we answer a question like this one it's really very simple so here we maintain the x and the power x there equal to if you can see nicely here square root of 4 is a 2 so it will be 16 power a 2 there okay so now, using the idea of uh, laws of indices, we know that if you have got a power a there equal to uh, maybe, let's say, 1 power 1, 1 power 1 here, meaning this a will move with the 1 here and this a also will move with the 1. This simply means a is equal to a 1. Okay, so let's say, We've got A or we've got B, okay, B, their power B equal to maybe 5 power 5. You see the laws of indices here. The power, the base, I mean the, 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 the power and the base here, the power and the base. If this side, we've got the base equal to the power, meaning this is equal to this. So we're going to say b is equal to a 5. So this is the idea that we need right here. So what we're going to do is uh, to try and balance this, okay? The base and the power must be equal to each other. So it will be x power x equal to, okay? Here we say 4 power 2 under a power 2 there, okay? So if you're able to see nicely there, we know that when dealing with uh, indices, if we have got a power 2 and power 2 there, so this will just be equal to a power 4. The laws of indices, uh, when you have a power here and here, you multiply them. So it will, it will be 2 times 2, which will give us a, a 4. Okay. So this idea is what we're going to apply here. We shall have x, okay, power x equal to 4 power 4 okay so if you can see the the stuff here this and this are equal to each other this and this are equal to each other okay so this simply means x will be equal to a 4 x is equal to what to 4 is our solution thank you so much for watching Remember to subscribe. This has been Sichamba Jacob. Bye-bye.